Tonight, an ABC 27 investigation is revealing all new information about the state's recent math book text, text math textbook controversy. Excuse me. Arcadia Legron spent the last week digging into the backgrounds of the people who reviewed those books for the state. She found some don't have math backgrounds or even live in Florida. Here's all the details she found. Three weeks after this press release accused some textbook publishers of trying to indoctrinate Florida students by including critical race theory and other prohibited topics into math textbooks, Florida's Department of Education has moved 19 of those books from the naughty list to the state's approved list after publishers revised what state education leaders call woke content. And while the state continues to keep the how and why of that content secret, we've discovered more about the who behind the original and historic 54 textbook rejections. After requesting the reviewers who evaluated these textbooks, Florida's Department of Education sent us this list. On it, the first and last names of 81 people listed as K-12 mathematic reviewers. Despite our repeated requests for their credentials, the state has yet to provide us with those details. So we went digging ourselves, combing through public records, social media accounts, and the web. We found while the majority are Florida educators with certifications, degrees, or other expertise in math, nearly a dozen are not. In fact, instead of math whizzes, we found reading teachers, social science educators, and history buffs also on the state's math reviewer roster. I was really surprised when I found that out. Carrie Denote has two master's degrees in math, is a K-5 through math instruction coach in Hernando County, and president of Florida's Council of Teachers of Mathematics. So it's no surprise she was a recent reviewer. She says she evaluated two math textbooks, one for kindergarten, the other fourth grade. I was looking at standards. I didn't see anything that was inappropriate or questionable as far as a math textbook goes. As for why a civics or history teacher would be part of the math review. I can't see a reason other than, you know, they, they're looking for something specific. Um, and I would just ask why they picked that particular person. Which explains why at least one history buff got the gig. And he doesn't even live in Florida. Many of today's young Americans have never encountered this love for America's story. That's Jordan Adams speaking at a White House conference on American history shortly after then-President Trump established a national commission to promote patriotic education. Instead, they pursue absurdly simplistic explanations like class struggle and systemic racism. Turns out Adams is a civic education specialist for Hillsdale College in Michigan. It's a conservative college working to expand its network of charter schools in the U.S. by using what they've dubbed Hillsdale 1776 curriculum, a learning style critics argue promotes politically conservative views of American history. Adams refused my request for an on-camera interview, but in limited responses to emailed questions, explained why his background in civics made him qualified to review math. Where the department sought assistance from individuals with a civics background was where the mathematicians who wrote the textbooks went outside of their field and introduced civics content, he stated. Adams wouldn't reveal any details about the textbooks he evaluated and if or why he flagged any. But in these reviewer evaluations made public by the state Thursday, Adams flagged a high school statistics book that may violate state rules prohibiting critical race theory when it included racism on several pages. To date, Florida's Education Department has only released four photos of examples its sites were found by reviewers for containing prohibited topics or unsolicited strategies. Each state has its own process for reviewing mathematics. Trina Wilkerson is president of the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics, which recently advocated for equity in math education while denouncing any use of math for political gain. Wilkerson says while states have reason to include other subject experts in their reviews, the final say over math materials should always come from math experts. The prominent voices and the feedback should come from mathematics teachers across early childhood, elementary, middle school, all of those areas. On its own website, Florida's Department of Education lists qualifications for math reviewers, including holding at least one credential in the field of mathematics. As to why it seemingly didn't follow its own standards, FDOE's press shop wouldn't provide direct answers, stating in this email, the department seeks reviewers with content expertise and an in-depth understanding of the best standards, just like any state agency would seek to have multiple content experts review.
there was a political intent behind this selection process of the mathematics textbooks. President of Florida's Teachers Union, which has been critical of the DeSantis administration and its lack of transparency, sums it all up like this. This was all about political theater for the governor to say he's standing up to make sure that our kids aren't being indoctrinated with math textbooks. I mean, that's really what this was about. And raising more questions tonight, why this list of reviewers provided to us by the state doesn't include everyone, including the one reviewer who submitted the most complaints about critical race theory. We sent several requests to the Department for Answers. So far, no explanation. Katie Legrone, back to you.